Hi, I'm Brian Vans, SportbikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the all-new Arai Corsair 10 helmet, or Corsair X. Pricing spans, as it always does, from solids up to graphics. We're going to begin at $755, get up there somewhere around $872 or so. Remember, free shipping for every order over $40 to the lower 48 United States. Really affordable international rates. No restocking fees here at STG. Really important with a high-end product like this. Get your Corsair 10 from us. Wear it in the house all you need to before you ride it to make sure you love it. That way, if you need to return it or exchange it, you'll avoid every hassle, avoid every fee. Let's go ahead and let's talk weight and let's talk fit. The sample we have here today in the 10 is a large. We benchmarked it here in the shop with someone that wears a large. We'd rate the fit pattern at intermediate oval, which is the most common head form here in North America. We'd say it runs true to size. And I think it'll be that way for most riders out there. Weight on our digital shipping scale today was 3.6 pounds. In a size large, remember a medium is going to be a little smaller and you normally would benchmark si uh, weight with a medium, but the sample only came in a large, so we couldn't do that. So about 3.6 pounds, Snell 2015, which is the highest standard available. On the table in front of me right now, I've got a Corsair that was produced in 10, October of 2007. And then we have the latest model, the Corsair 10. Several models in between these two at this point. If you look at these helmets, you are going to see a tremendous amount of similarity. With Arai, they really stand firm on their principles. They really believe in the, the core of their product, which is the round shell shape. Okay, the thought process is simple. Round is strong. In most motorcycle crashes, right, they're not direct impacts. Okay, they're typically glancing blows. Yes, I have a lot of experience with this. I've unfortunately crashed my bike on the track a number of times, and I can attest to the fact that the majority of the crashes are going to be glancing blows. So what you want and what they believe in, right, is with this round helmet shape, as it's skidding, it's more likely to, right, hit this and skid over this than it is catch it because there's no edge and create a tumble, okay? So it'll just skip over, skip over, and then also, by being round like this, there is a tremendous amount of strength built into the helmet shell. Yes, that was 210 mildly athletic pounds standing on the helmet shell, right? Unassisted, standing on the helmet shell like this, and it supported me, no worries. Round is very strong. So that is really the core philosophy, right? with Arai and their helmets is to begin with that round shell. From there, all the stuff that you see that is attached to the helmet, okay, everything there will break away in the event of an accident. It's just two-sided tape. It'll pop right off. It stays on, you know, during normal use for sure, but it'll pop right off. So that is their core belief. And as you can see clearly from the progression from here to here, they stand firm on that philosophy. Let's talk about the features and benefits of this helmet and the improvements and changes that they've made. <clears throat> your big changes are going to be in your airflow. They have redesigned the vents. I gotta tell you, the action on them is phenomenal. End of the day, the bottom line is they're bigger. They're going to flow more air, create more comfort for the rider inside the helmet. Intake vents here, three up here, everything is switchable intake vent here, which also works as a demister. You'll come back here, exhaust, exhaust. The exhaust back here is also tunable. We've got our aerodynamic wing, right? Push in, multiple positions, right? This is gonna be most useful, obviously, at maximum speeds. That's something that developed in for MotoGP, World Superbike kind of stuff, and so the street riders get to play with it too. So improved ventilation. The real big news is going to be in the shield. It's going to come with your Max Vision pin lock shield. It comes with a clear pin lock insert and what Max Vision means is the insert 
right, is in the entire field of vision, so you don't see any break there at all. We've got big eye port, top to bottom, periphery, right, very similar to what Arai has always had at the end of the day. If you look at it, minor changes there, millimeters. We've got a whole new shield mechanism. Variable axis system. You can see here is the shield lock. Push up, it'll release that. Also kind of crack the shield. Lift up on the shield. Got a couple of detents here. Side plates. The side plates have always been tricky, right? I think for any of us, they've been tricky. I actually have a, an old video changing a shield on an Arai that's been watched, I don't know, 100,000 plus times. This one is not even close to being that complicated. To release the side plate, which has also been upgraded, okay, the side plate now is much closer, much more low profile and tighter to the side of the helmet than with this model. You can clearly see this is more bulbous, right? It sticks out more. This has been able to be moved much closer to the helmet. That is going to reduce the negative impact in the air and the noise production. To remove the side plate, you simply push back on that. And there is actually a little retention, a little silicone retention cable. So both sides, you will need to do that if you're going to change your shield, like so. And then you can see the brand new shield mechanism underneath. You've actually got a brass insert that rides in a channel. And to remove the shield, you push in and it pushes the insert out of the channel, like so, and then you push down. You can kind of do this all as one movement when you're removing the shield and the side plates, right? To put the side plates back on, you need to be in the up position. They pop right in place, which is very nice. There's a lot of engineering here. When you look at this, I mean, this is a pretty, pretty complicated mechanism. To put them back in place, the easiest way is there's a little tab located right here. You kind of dip that in, push down, locks right in. So now let's do this once again. Shield all the way up. We're going to push back on both tabs like so. And you can see that's already got my shield released. Push down. Off comes the shield. Okay, that is bar none the easiest shield change ever on an Arai. To put it back on, show you here one side at a time. You need to get the shield in the upper position like so. Same thing here. Locate the brass insert right in that red dot. Push in and then from there you're going to go ahead and lift up on the shield, both sides, they'll dip inside the channel like so. From there, grab your side pod, push down, repeat the process, without a question that is a huge upgrade from the previous models. And when you look at those pieces, there is a ton of engineering there. Now let's have a look at the interior. Helmet ships with a removable chin curtain. All high-end fabrics. We've got some tunability here. You can buy different size cheek pads, top pads, and we also have, remember, on the top pad, the removable temple pieces to allow you to really dial the fit in. To remove your chin curtain, you want to pull out lightly here. That will help during inclement times, right? Keep you a little warmer. Also helps to keep the helmet operating quieter when you reduce the airflow that comes in the helmet at the bottom. It does have still the famous Arai chin spoiler. Emergency release cheek pads. I'll show you how that works. On one side, give it a tug, it comes right out. How do you remove the cheek pad without using that? Get your fingers in between the back of the cheek pad and the shell of the helmet towards the front of the pad, pull out, and it will allow you to release. There is a tab from the neck roll that slides 
into this little V-shaped pocket. Pull that out. Pull that out. To remove the neck roll, I'm going to grab it here at the back and pull lightly on the plastic retainer. There's your neck roll. Here's your cheek pads. Very innovative cheek pads. You know, it's still the same Arai design, but a lot of innovation here. There's EPS built into the cheek pads. Multiple layers of different types of foam contouring. If you want to install a communication system, there's plenty of room here to do that as well. Top pad. Two snaps here at the back. Two snaps at the front. You can see how intricate this is and the quality built into this. The temple pads, right, if you happen to be a little rounder head shape, you want to open it up in the temple. There's pockets here where you can access that. There's minimal amounts of adhesive used. You're able to pull those out and work to dial in the fit, open the space up, up there in the top. Let's have a look at the EPS inside the helmet. They really finished the EPS. There's not a lot to look at here, and they use a variable density EPS too. We have a cutout of it somewhere. It shows multiple colors, right, of foam used and they represent different levels of density. So they have a one-piece EPS, but they tune the performance of it by utilizing different types of material in each part of it. Lots of technology in that as well. And there you have it. This is the new and improved Arai Corsair 10 helmet. I'm Brian Vance, SportBikeTrackGear.com.